guys so today we'll be making pizza don't worry about this i love my yellow bowl i have an orange one as well but it's a little bit bigger so i like this one because it's a bit smaller so uh, making pizza a uh, tablespoon of salt one cup of warm water a spoonful of yeast okay i'm gonna add a little bit more um and then we're gonna just this one is active dry yeast so you don't have to wait for it you can if you want but i don't wait and then you add the flour first cup of flour just put all of it and then you stir I like putting one cup at a time Second cup of flour. Just put a cup at a time. This one I know it will take around three cups because it's the same measurements I used for the French bread. The only thing I didn't put here is the sugar. The other cup. So this is the other half a cup. Actually, I don't think I will use the three cups, but we'll see. So this is how it looks. The bowl is clean. It's not sticky. Okay, so we are going to just let it sit for 30 minutes. We cover it up as usual and let it sit. So it's been 30 minutes later. And here is our dough. So we're gonna cut the dough into two. We see if it's gonna fit in our pan. I'm not doing a round pizza. I'm going to do a pizza that fits here. Okay, that fits here. So here's our pizza pan. We oil it for so that it doesn't stick. I don't have the brush, so I'm gonna use what I have. In the kitchen, don't strain yourself to have all those gadgets, they are far too many. So, here it is, we're just gonna stretch it out. So, you just stretch it out slowly. Where you feel the dough is a little bit thick, you stretch it out until it fits. Eh? So like here, you do like that. You continue until it's it stays the way you want so here it is looks good and then we're gonna take a fork and just poke it you know sometimes I do omit this step but not all the time okay and then you take your pizza sauce the way you the one you made and then you just spread and be generous don't worry I have a cut here it can smell something And smell the sauce. Mm. So that is done. Then we take the toppings. I have tomatoes, uh, 
green bell peppers and the onions just sprinkle them all over I have to be careful because I, I need to cook another one I'm going to go to the green bell peppers like so then we go to the onion ah the tomatoes like so and then we go to the sausages enough and then we go to the um shaved uh cheese now this one because it's shaved it's not as easy to distribute but we're gonna make it i, I feel this is easier to do than the gritted one Be generous with the cheese. This is two types of cheese here. There's the cheddar cheese and there's the mozzarella. I really don't like the cheddar. It doesn't melt out the way I want. Like that. So it's ready for the oven. So now into the oven it goes the oven is preheated uh, 10 minutes and it's on uh, the temperature is 200 so and it goes see how pretty it looks so this is the end result so this is it so i need you to go and strengthen your So this is it. Okay. I'm gonna try and take a bite. <sighs> mm. It is nice. But I still don't get why my um, my cheese is not that, you know, melted. Like for instance, this. It is cooked, but it's not. I don't know what to say. It's not like the mozzarella. You can see the mozzarella. It's very nicely melted, but you can see the the cheddar. It's still firm. But this is the end result. The taste is amazing. Yeah. That's my only problem with the cheddar cheese. So like, follow, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting more recipes uh, online. Every week, there'll be like two or three uh, recipes uh, in my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching, and please try it at home. I will be trying out a pizza recipe without the cheese, because there are some people who can't who are who are allergic to cheese or dairy yeah dairy so that will be for them watch out for that video bye